its ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Good evening everyone! So how are you guys? And we are back to our another episode of Trendline, the Jobancom's Web3 podcast. So today is very special because we will be talking about games, especially in the Web3 space. And um, the most uh, important thing is we have our spe- uh, special guest with this new project, the Lacan Interactive. And with together with um, the business development and marketing director of Lacan Interactive, no other than Miss M. Uh, M. Kaisaya Dangla. Yes. Good evening, Miss M. How are you? Hello. I'm doing good, Christine. Lady Moon Sun. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the introduction. So and thank uh, hello to the community as well. Here in the live stream, I can see your names: Da Vinci, Albert John, Annalyn, Aiza. Hello, guys. Happy to have you here. Yes, good evening sa ating mga uh, viewers and please do share our live streams para marami tayong maabot ng mga ka-gamers natin, uh, community sa Web3 space para marami tayong matutunan. This is really a revolutionary uh, project, uh, the Lacan Interactive. So, together with Ms. Uh, Kaisaya, she will gonna not, um, share, us to, uh, share to us what um, about their project. So, uh, without any other further ado, Ms. Uh, Kaisaya, we will gonna go ahead with this uh, first question and later on we're gonna uh, get or take some um, best questions on the viewers as well. So, our first question for tonight, can you tell us about the Lacan Inter- Interactive, like how it is being initiated? Yeah, sure. So, Lacan Interactive, guys. So, we are a company, a startup game development company that's composed of veterans, game development vet- veterans with 8 to 15 years proven game development experience. So, all my life uh, as well, we've been into games. Uh, and uh, yeah, just last year, July 2022, we formalized and legally registered the company. Currently, we have a roster of 41 plus passionate in-house game developers, you know, from 2D artists, 3D artists, um, programmers, game designers, script writers, storytellers, and whatnot. And all of us, we've been building games for most of our professional lives. Ako lang siguro yung medyo nalihis. Not exactly nalihis, but, you know, I'm still working with games. But it's for esports and Web3 games this time. So, yeah, I'm, as mentioned by uh, Christine a while ago, I'm the Business Development and Marketing Director of Lacan Interactive. So, right now, we are building a Steam-inspired infrastructure or platform for games with true ownership. So, ano ba yung usual alam natin with true ownerships, right? So, those are yeah. NFTs. Those are the NFTs. And we've noticed some several problems in the space, mostly... Um, the unstable economy, right? So if the token goes down because of market conditions, then, you know, the value of our in-game tokens, like as much, goes down as well. So uh, we want to give solution to that by creating a stabilizing mechanism in our ecosystem. So at the same time, we're doing things differently because we will be uh, develop, uh, rather, we will be giving you the output first before uh, anything else so this is not like we're gonna ask you guys to have an nft first uh, before you can play the game or have a wallet connected first before you play the game so this is why we're going to make all the games free to play and you know it, then it's just up to you if you want to buy some skins inside a game because you want to beautify your characters or you want to take true ownership of it in here in Lacan Interactive, we really want to divide that. Um, uh, we really want to remove that divide. Sorry, 
between Web 2 and Web 3 games. Gusto namin sila magsama. We just want to call these games games because they're fun. We love the genre. Not because, ah, I'm going to play this game because they promised um you know that i will be earning money from this now that's just the bonus we wanna we are developing all these games in the steam inspired platform that we'll be having uh in such a way they will be really fun and of course different genre to the first game that we're going to be coming up uh this sometime march will be a puzzle game a match tree puzzle game it's just a casual games and in fact about six to eight games is the number of games that we're going to be releasing this year alone. And that's uh, for our Steam-inspired platform to make sense, right? If without any games in our platform, then there will be no sense to, to call it a Steam-inspired one because we know Steam has a lot of games in it. So to start, we will be deploying six to eight games this year alone. That includes mostly casual games to make core games. So we're not currently promising any triple a games because you know triple a games take so much time to develop like you have to have like maybe three or five years plus of de development and it costs more at the same time so um our community and marketing approach as well is different from how the usual web3 games would market their games because we're approaching it in as to how we were attracted to let's say the the web2 games that we love like Let's say, let's mention some of the Web2 games that we love. Like for me, for example, um, how we how we got attracted um, in, in League of Legends, Wild Rift, or League of Legends PC, Dota, or Ragnarok Online. Like how we got attracted. It's because of the games, right? We didn't even like think, okay, I'm, am I going to get money uh, from this game? So that's basically how we want to approach it. We want you to fall in love with the game because you love it, you enjoy it, and not because... Um, mainly, okay, regardless if this is like a, a not so well designed game, I'm gonna play it because they promise some money aspect in it. So, yeah, that's uh, I think that will summarize uh, the problems and the solution that we want to do here in Lacan Interactive. And uh, being here with a team that I've known for many years already is um, it's a uh, it's like a it's like a gift for me this year because I'm working with the people I knew for more than 10 years uh or even 12 years plus of my life so yeah that's about the con interactive and what we are actually building right now in the space okay well thank you for all of that information it's very um exciting to experience those games that you have mentioned and as you have said uh, some of the games are just casual so it will be much more easier for our community of gamers to uh play the games and um it actually gives us the refreshment of our younger version so and as you have mentioned as well with those uh strong team that you have right now within the lacan interactive i could really uh, say on my uh opinion that having a strong team really gives you a positive or a successful project and uh, yes let's proceed to the next question um what do you think will be the edge of Lacan Interactive compared to other GameFi projects? It's the stabilizing mechanism that we have. Um, that's what we are, like our unique um, proposition uh, for this project. Because any other game of the moment in the GameFi space doesn't really have the stabilizing mechanism. Or it's not very much similar to what we currently have. So I'm going to give you an example. Um, let's say you have Lacan token, right? So that Lacan token is in, ex in the exchanges. And let's say it's current, you have 100 Lacan tokens, and then its current value is 100 US dollar as well, currently, like today. And then you swap it to, to the stable coin inside one of our games. So then it's, a, it's the same amount, right? So 100 US dollar with the stable coin inside the game but um after some hours or maybe tomorrow um we realize that the market goes down so the value of like of your 100 token 100 lacan token becomes let's say half half of the price like 50 us dollar but because you put it in the stabilizing mechanism that we have um it's safe so meaning if you go back from having it as a stable coin to 
uh, swapping it back to Lacan token, you will receive plus 50% more so that you keep the same value of 100 US dollars. So that's what we have in our unique stabilizing mechanism that in that we have in our ecosystem. So, and it's not just our games that will benefit on this one because quarter three of this year, we will be opening our doors to uh, clients who would want to join this kind of ecosystem and utilize the t stabilizing mechanism that we have so that we lessen the worries of the players uh, that their tokens going down and, you know, being pretty volatile. And of course, if, you know, um, if uh, now for traders, uh, then it's now up to them if, if they just want to stick to just skipping the Lacan tokens if the market condition is actually like trending going up. So I think that's the unique the thing that we have in Lacan Interactive. Great. Thank you for that answer, Miss uh, Kesaya. And uh, as you have already mentioned about the Lacan token, uh, and you have mentioned the value as well. Is that already out in the market or is it already registered on any exchanges? Or no, no, not yet. Currently, we're focusing on, we are, I mentioned a while ago, we are a product first, game first delivery approach. So we're putting up first the product. We want to show you the Steam inspired platform first, as well as the games. Okay before we actually list on any exchanges because we want you to show uh we want to show you a working product so we're not making promises in it we don't make paasa things like that so we want you guys to see what's the output first but initially we have actually planned it to um release or do our ido around march as well but um it's not final it can it can still change because currently we're currently on our siege round so that that is why but yeah currently the short answer to that is currently no not as of the moment okay thank you and uh within the lacan token what could be the utility of it within the uh economy of of the game or in your project yeah, sure. So the Lacan token can will can actually be staked to receive a collateral token called the Lacan bond. And the bond has various use cases such as participating in NFT staking and uh, IGOs. At the same time, of course, the Lacan token will be utilized in many different games because that's uh, the, primarily the requirement. Let's say we have several games, right? In our, uh, in our hub, in our platform. So before you... Let's say you want to buy skin in different, you know, bling blings in all of different games. So you need to have the Lacan token first before you can um, uh, purchase those skin and convert it to a stable stable coin inside a game. At the same time, in the future, we're also eyeing on some real world use cases or utilities for these products. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna drop it here just quite a bit for Terminator. Let's say. Uh, because we have Toy Kingdom, right? So we are currently, and the, the the characters in the game are all toys. So we want to have that utility. Hopefully, this will work. It could be in Toy Kingdom or many, some any other toy stores that you know you can also like utilize this token so that you know it's relatable to the game that we have developed. So this oh. is one sample. Oh, that's nice. Is it something <laughs> like a digital thing? With physical digital yeah anything that we yeah, looking yeah. At here. yeah 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 that's nice so it's something <laughs> that we will be looking forward to and um also since you have this uh stabilizing mechanism as one of your uh main edge on other projects in gamefi uh as of the moment do you experience any uh challenges upon creating this project Oh, um, in developing itself, not exactly because we are experienced developers. Um, in fact, we are simultaneously building uh, lots of games as of the moment. It all has prototypes and I'm so excited to let you know, guys. By the way, the airdrop is ongoing for Toy Miniature Games. So don't miss it because you'll all the NFTs that will be dropped in there are NFT guaranteed. So nice. yeah, and at the same time, there are some tokens uh, being given away there as well. Weekly, we're drawing eight to 10 lucky winners. And then in the grand draw, top three winners with the most uh, entries will win the the championship prizes. And so yeah, um, going back to your question, sorry for the sidetrack. <laughs> Could you it's repeat a, it's the a fine, it's fine. It's okay. It will be part of the questions as well. And it's uh, better uh, you have answered it earlier. <laughs> It's just fine. Thank you. 
yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Could just repeat the question again. I got sidetracked way too much. I yeah, think. Uh, as I <laughs> mentioned, um, since you have already this stabilizing mechanism as your edge oh, on the other game five projects, uh, uh, my question is actually you have answered it. Um, what is your or Challenge or is Lacan Interactive right? experiencing other challenges as well? I think it is the current market condition. Um, yes, well, we're right, right. the bear and um, unlike from the past two years, uh, it's different in terms of if you want to ask for VCs and investors to hop yeah. in your project in a game five right. space. But right now, it's just so difficult. Everyone's like so scared to put money in this one. Yes. Um. So that's what's uh, currently difficult at the moment. Um. Yeah, because of the market conditions. But in terms, and I think many more people are like um, having that scare factor to invest. But you know, some people also say, okay, if everyone's scared, invest in it. Yeah. And so, yeah. So I, I think it, it all depends. But I think, yeah, mostly the, in, the VCs and investor part. Uh, as mentioned, we're currently on our seed round. And it's not like before that you just present a white paper, even though um, you don't ha have uh, real plans. You know, it's sad that, that that happens, like, you know, bad actors, let's say, in, in the space. Even though, like, they're not, you know, they're just making false promises, just yeah. present their white paper, then they're going to get investors in VC. But I think this is a test of time here in the bear market because we were able to see, like, who are the people uh, that's actually serious about making something, about building something. Yeah. And apparently, those who are not serious... Because we're now in the bear market, they left. Yes. So it's a test of time. So I think we should be thankful that uh, this actually happened somehow to at least to remove those um, right. bad actors in the space and see who's actually really have good intentions uh, yeah. in, in, in this blockchain. Uh, space so yeah <laughs> yeah thank you for answering that and yes you're right actually during the bear market this is where you could really tell or test who are those people who will be with you or support your project during this these times and those people who support you during the bear market i do believe the, those are the ones who really deserves or to be on the top during the bull run yeah and i think yeah. it's not really just about like who's there maintaining yeah. keeping I mean, keeping themselves to support you, but who yeah. are these builders? Yes, exactly. Who keeps on building, even though it's, yeah. it's a bare market condition. So I think that's also very important. Yes. We're able to like uh, filter uh, those who are just like in here yes. for, I don't know, some maybe cash grabs, right? So yeah. Yeah, the, the main structure of the project, the people behind it, those uh, are the tasks to be who will be the strongest one so this, this is actually not only you are experiencing it but also other projects as well um, bear market is really a very challenging um, moment for for everyone but as we all know everything that goes down will also gonna go up so get, let's just gonna look forward on that one so thank you for answering that question actually there's a lot of questions um passing on on our comments but we will gonna get them or we were gonna pick the most uh best uh question later on so another questions that we have here is that uh you have mentioned about the toy minator and something we need we will be looking forward to as digital project and for those who, who doesn't know what's digital, it's something like physical and digital. So it's a merge of the physical or the reality, the something that we can touch or we can uh, bought in the future, or, or and also the digital. It is something on the NFT side. So uh, more on the crypto thing on the Web3 space. So since you have mentioned about these uh, upcoming games that you have right now, is the Toy Minator. Other than this, um, what other games that the community of gamers will be expecting this uh, 2023? Yeah, um, I can mention a few, but yes. not all. So one of the game is an RPG game. It's actually a client project of ours. Mm, nice. um, so that's kind of like a mid-core one. Uh, the beautiful thing in here is that everything in that game is Filipino themed. Mm. So everything was made from scratch by our 2D and 3D artist. It's actually a 3D game, by the way. 
And you know, you'll see elements uh, such as tikbalang, kalesa. Oh. So yeah, it's it's very like Filipino themed, and uh, we're so happy to deploy that. Actually, there's a we're, we're just not releasing, but we're privately we are sharing it to some <laughs> communities. You know, when we're we're doing some pitching and all that. So. Yeah, and at the same time, there is this brute force brawler that is also coming up. It is a PV, not the battler PVP game. Um, but the the Toy Minator one is also a PVP game. But uh, but it's a yeah, it's it's like Candy Crush, but it's a it's competitive one because oh, I forgot to mention there will we will be having some esports aspects in all of our games. I mean, I myself has an esports experience. Uh, we've talked to a lot of guilds uh, frequent in many tournaments as well, so they're excited to join too. So we, we will de definitely be having some esports tournaments events uh, uh, from our games and the games that we will deploy in the Lacan Interactive Hub. So yeah, and uh, there's this actually some of the games are also are still untitled, but there's this basketball kind of game that we're also like developing is another casual one like you just have to shoot it but of course there are extra challenges so yeah it's a pretty like again casual games tasks are pretty simple but it can be competitive through the event that we will be having so yeah yeah new era <laughs> yes the new era of gaming <laughs> yeah. something to look forward yeah. to to all of our gamers here actually that's the thing that i'm going to ask uh by the way if if the games of Lacan Interactive will be engaging in esports, and yes, you have uh, answered it, and yeah, that's the thing that we were gonna we're, look we forward came from to. Esports too. Yes, of course, we yeah, should. yeah. So that's the main thing, actually. That we really would like to ask within this um, session that we have. So thank you for that, Miss M, and uh, mga gamers natin jan narinig niyo yon. Esports is coming na in Web3 space. Oh, yeah. oh, and, oh not to not to mention, I have my, oh, I don't know if you can see it, but we have the yeah. Team Secret chair here. Too. Wow. So I've, I've spoken, I, I don't know, like if you can see it, but yeah, dahil sa, ano eh. Nako, baka pwedeng parapol na yan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, you're you're gonna be picking questions from the audience, yes, right? Yes, yes, correct. So, can, can I just, like, automate, I don't know, like, automatically give them a whitelist spot and a pre-alpha access later yes, on sure. if their question was picked? So that's official. Oh, just did you hear their, that, guys? Just, yon, yeah. yon, may just get their Facebook na. name and Discord. Yeah. yeah. Ano yon? Paulit yon, Miss M? Uh, Miss Kaysay, ano yon? Whitelist Yung need nilang gawin? Oh, hindi. Uh, pag napili lang yung question nila. Oh, okay. yeah. Ayun. So, <laughs> very sure, lucky yung na mapili lang. natin na question. So, later, uh, I will pick some questions and... Uh, if if you do have any other questions that you can see on our comment section, Miss M, that you would like to pick, then you you can also choose one, so that they will have the um, privilege as well. So, for me, we gave on a white list. Sure, okay. sure, thank sure. You, and it's not just you. white list. Um, yeah, the pre-alpha access yes. because we officially will be having it launch. Um, Early pre alpha access, sorry. We will be launching it March, pero by February. Uh, yeah, that's when we will have the early access. Yeah. All right. So, abang abang na kayo dyan, guys. And prepare your questions. Yung pinaka the best na questions sa i latag nyo na dyan. So, also, since you have mentioned about the esports, uh, Ms. Kaysaya, uh, do you have already like um, a perspective date if. It, will that enter as well this 2023? Yes, why not? Because oh. though I can't promise if like Q1, because pre-alpha version palang yon. But we can, you know, work around in some ways to do that. Because if you know, like from other games that like from Web2, right? Yeah. Even though they don't have the lobby yet, you know, we make we find ways. <laughs> <laughs> we find ways to make it as esports and competitive, but. Yeah, um, I would say sometime this mid this year is a realistic answer. But um, if we find a way from our marketing team to you know do community events, uh, even though it's just an alpha pre-alpha version, then we will do. But I think the realistic answer will be uh, mid this year. All right, thank you for that. And uh, yes, uh, in a while we will gonna pick some questions now. So, um, guys. I comment yun na yung mga best questions yan kay Miss uh, Kaysaya. 
And before we proceed, I still have um, two more questions here, Ms. M. Um, I would like to ask if um, on what uh, on what contract Lacan token will be chained? Like something, is it be on uh, in Ethereum or something like that or Polygon, which we know um, more on games, yung Polygon, yung Polygon na ano, na... Not yeah. Not contract. Yeah, we plan it to be cross chain, um, talaga. But now it's a matter of like where we'll be going in first. But we are in touch, or we're speaking with Solana, nice. uh, Polygon at the moment as well. Uh, BNB we're trying to, but of course you know BNB has uh, has a, has a different set of requirements. But we'll see our luck in there. So whichever comes first, but we plan it to be cross chain. So. Yeah, and be happy to get feedback from the community too. Yes, of course. Um, but whoever comes in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's going to be cross-chain overall. That's nice to hear because I, I myself is really a fan now of Solana and Polygon. So I, I guess Lacan Interactive is really so it's a really big thing to look forward to within our community of gamers. So just the last thing actually you have answered this um a while ago but i would like to verify it uh, um once again uh when will be the tge of your token again miss m are you when will it be available yes yeah um yeah initially we plan it to be available march 2023 this year but as mentioned um mm -hmm. it depends on the lead bc that we'll pick um because we're currently on our seed round so it might still change so that's why we're not making any official announcement but it's gonna be there once the the game is also ready since we have mentioned a while ago it's gonna be a uh uh what do you call this a product delivery first game first uh, company that we have and we don't want to make false promises so we want you guys to enjoy the games uh, and use our platform primarily yes. because um you know the, the games are fun the, you like the games and yeah, even if you take out the nft or crypto concept in it you will like it so then by the time that we have formed the community then we will be doing the ido as well so but yeah initially it's planned march mm -hmm. um it could still change but uh nothing set in stone as of the moment until we have the final word from our lead vc all right something to look forward to so right thank you very much miss m for answering all of the uh, questions so this is the most awaited part so we will be picking now some questions on our viewers and check on our comment section actually there's uh, a question that i have already picked and this is the most question na tinatanong talaga for every project so we have a question here from jasper nales montinola so he asked, is there enough burning mechan mechanics for the Lacan token that it will not rug pull in the future? So something like um, what will be the sustainable um, system of the token para hindi mm -hmm. rug pull. Yeah, well, apart from the things that I have mentioned a while ago, we will have um, we will have a buy buck and burn percentage on our fees. So. Um, in our ecosystem, we have some fees in there, like several ways that this will actually work. Um, and with that, uh, of course, this will prevent enough potential rug pulls in the future. At the same time, of course, the utilities of the token itself. Para kasing dalawa yung tanong sorry. So yung buyback. I mean, yung tanong is wait lang. Burning mechanism. Yes, burning rug pull. Yes, so rug pull. So yeah. So for for the burning mechanism, so we have a buyback. We'll be having a buyback feature, and of course, that will burn a uh, percentage of that sa mga fees namin uh, na charge doon sa marketplace. And then for the, and that will also like help then to prevent potential rug, rug pull. So mostly we'll have the transaction fees and ayun. Um, wala rin sa, ayan may sinasabi sa akin, wala sa vocabulary ng team ang rug pull. Yum. So yeah, ayun. And, and me myself, I mean, um, I've been known in the industry. I mean, yes. I don't wanna like put myself in a, like I've worked so hard, like worked so hard uh, for my reputation. Um, I don't think I'm gonna burn it just in one project. I don't want that and I don't want to put my uh, community into a bad spot. At the same time, um, I think we're docs, well docs enough. Uh, kung hindi pa, 
enough. I don't know how, but <laughs> I don't know how else we can dox ourselves. So yeah, and yeah, um, Marin, yeah. So I think, um, well, I I'm not able to do some screen share here at the moment, but I think this will be best explained later on by our tokenomics guy. So Ayun. yeah, but for the meantime, <laughs> that's what I can share. Yeah, it's best, guys, for those who are. Um, do, for those that we have here on the comment section and all of our viewers, it's best guys to uh, visit the Lacan, Lacan Interactive socials, especially their website. It is actually pe uh, pinned on our uh, description on this uh, live stream. So you can check on their website on the most updated information about their tokens and upcoming games. So... Um, kasi sa totoo lang, alam naman natin na hindi mauubos ng buong gabi yung pag explain sa isang project lang. So, and I really do appreciate uh, Miss uh, Kaisaya for delivering all of this um, information to us. Kasi um, it's very, um, uh, very uh, important information that we need to look uh, or we can look forward to in the future. And yon. So we do have Jasper Nales Montola, uh, Montinola answered his question. And uh, yes, thank you, Miss uh, Kaisaya. Kaya nino ba nila i ano? Uh, Sino ba ko kana sa? Yung... Yeah, yeah, I mean for Jasper, just yes. uh, yeah, just uh, forward your. Is it okay? Like, do we have a staff from the side of Job and Com collecting yes. this? It, the names yeah, it's, 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 if you like, we could just collect their names and we're just gonna forward it to you. So. Congratulations, Jasper! You win. Uh, you won. Sorry, you won a white list Yay! from Inter <laughs> uh, Fan Interactive. So it's white list and yes, so, uh, yeah, and pre early pre alpha access. Yon. So we have our first winner. Congratulations. Because when you say Rick Obsena, it's the only bandida in Philippines so Web3. So yeah. Yon. I mean, can I just like share? Yes, sure. The past few years, I mean, it's just so saddening whenever we hear. Basta Pinoy Project Rock Pool. Yes. It's so sad. I mean, imagine like kapwa Filipino natin saying all those words. And uh, at some most of the time, like we, we do realize na, oh shoot, um, they did rock pool this project. And so it, it's it's saddening. Like, I mean, it's kapwa Filipino, but, um, you know, they, they do those kind of things. So it's it's saddening. So um from last year, even though it's, bear market nga, uh, me and my team we decided to come together and hopefully stop this stigma and stereotype whenever there are filipino yeah. projects because we wanna we wanna do good in the space i think it's time to um yeah remove that stigma yes but of course may mga ganun talaga eh. mm -hmm. I, I think hindi mo wala yes, to take advantage sure. ng technology so yeah so yeah, tama yon ni Sam kasi there's a lot of project coming in uh, um, especially nga last year and um though those those project actually there there are some projects na Filipino made that actually um uh yung parang pumutok talaga yung balita about scamming issue and so whatsoever and parang yung yung nangyari kasi parang yung nasasama na din yung mga bagong projects eh but uh, I do believe that there are other Filipino projects that uh, are doing their best to get in, into the track. And actually, it will be a um, pride of every Filipino, diba? And maybe this time, it's the Lacan Interactive, uh, na, we, we, we need all your help, guys. Yes. I mean, we are so strong in the NFT and blockchain space. There's a lot of... Filipino NFT owners, we can make it. So we just yes. need your kind support. Because what's saddening is, apparently, it's most of the uh, most na naha hype na project or you know potential. Yeah. I don't want to say, diba? But uh, yeah, yeah it, uh, let's uh, let's be wise and be mindful about yeah. choosing the projects that we want to invest in or support, right? But here again, um, like I mentioned a while ago, we're not asking the public to invest on us. Because mm. we are the one doing the work to find the investors who want to invest in our company in order for us to do to develop or finish the games that we are currently building. And then if gusto niyo magbuy ng skin or magpalakas ng character, etc., etc., then it's up to you because you love yeah. the game. So that's that's the first thing that uh, that's the difference that we want to make in this space. Yun. So, yun yung mga advantages that I can see on the Lacan Interactive. So, uh, I guess we were gonna 
pick another question and I do find an, an interesting one. It's from Da Vinci. So we expect the game is insanely good and you mentioned we can earn token and should have burning mechanism, right? But the question is when we launch the game and it will hit to us, to our gamers, for us not to hit it because of the cheaters, will you be able to monetize every gamers and directly ban them for good? Oh, about that. Uh, it's about yes. security, right? Yes, correct. So in all games, apparently, like even though you have a strong as uh, security of Tencent, apparently it's, you know, uh, remember Valorant or, you know, even games like that, cheaters still come along. Yeah. Um, so, but definitely we will do our best to have that security. I know that's very frustrating, especially in tournaments. We don't want any yeah. cheaters in that one. So we're actually... Okay, I mentioned this from the first AMA I joined in and I'm happy that we have closed uh, the initial talk that we'll be having with them. Um, we're, um, we're trying, we're, we have a scheduled call with Tencent Cloud. Nice. Um, so they have some some sort of like security. So we'll try to find ways on how we can work together. Nothing closed yet uh, as we have yet to discuss. But of course, we're definitely eyeing on to that. We, we don't like cheaters. We don't want people to be grabbing the wins and the and the get in, getting into the ladders through through false way of uh, to to wrong ways of doing it so yeah we'll definitely we will be having oh yeah we will be having moderators for that especially once the community grows so look forward to once the once we've gained lots of traction already most likely we will be getting some moderators from the community itself, those who have been with us from the start. So get your names noticed in our Discord or Telegram. So yeah, uh, we'll be having that. It's not just like like the security that we're solving, but we mostly will be able to hopefully provide some you know work opportunities in the future to oh, for aspiring nice. moderators. All right, that's really great. Um, it's really uh, this kind of project is the one that the community community really needs something for an opportunity like especially for the job that you have mentioned job opportunities and fun fun games so those are the most important thing and i do believe with this kind of projects that you are uh, proposing to the community i could say that what you earn is something like a bonus only right the most import important here is that uh, opportunities for a lifetime not a lifetime but something that you could work on during the season of this web3 space and um actually i do have another questions question received here but by the way congratulations to da vinci so you are the uh, second one to receive the white listing of dilakan interactive so we're just gonna ooh, message you later ooh. yay and yes, another questions that I have or we have in the comment section is from Rick Carlo O. Obsena. Uh, is the game playable in Android and iOS? It's a, at first, it's a browser based game, meaning it can be played on mobile or desktop. So nice. the answer is yes. But you know, you just have to open your browser and play it from there. But in the future, we will be deploying applications so that you, if you just want to download right from the Play Store or App Store, we'll have that too. But you know, it will, it might take a, a little bit of time because how it's approved, especially in App Store, um, is different. Like it, it's, it, it's kind of tedious. But it will be it can be played since it's browser based it can it will be you should be able to play the game either on pc or mobile all right that's nice so it's very doable to uh any um gadget or yeah gadget right now because it is a web uh website uh, or website type right you can based website based yeah you can play through desktop through your whether it's an iPhone or Android, it's possible. But um, it, it will that be on the near future as well for the app uh, to be. Oh, available? yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe quarter three, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Let's say for just for Terminator itself. Okay, great. So everything is uh, something to look forward within this 
2023 it's really a boom for uh project and game five that we are looking uh, at here now oh, and, yes, Rick. <laughs> yeah, right. so yes congratulations to rick carlo o of Sena. you are the third person to win to won the uh, white list from Lacan Interactive. So, pwede pa, Miss M, pwede pa tayong kumuha ng questions? Sure, sure. Yon. So, congratulations congratulations for the winners for the first three. So, sa mga viewers natin dyan, guys, uh, hindi pa huli. Pwede pa kayong humabol. So, give the best shot question that you could uh, ask on this live stream. So, you just um, comment down and do, we're gonna... Or we will have it answered by Miss uh, M. Kaisaya. So, anything else, guys? Go, go. Habol na. Right. So, as of the moment, um, Miss M, and I would like to ask if, do you have any other uh, upcoming events or updates that you would like to announce as well? Um... Right now, I will actually like uh, be in the uh, Taipei Game Show because we will be speaking to several um, VCs and investors as well as um, potential partners. Um, that's where I got in touch with Tencent Cloud too. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Um, in the future as well, hopefully sometime mid this year, um, once we've become successful in closing our investors and lead VC, hopefully just with your support guys, um, then we will be having, you know, physical events like getting boots in there, community meetups, because that's how we do it for gamers, right? So we want to have that. And at the same time, we plan some merchandise to give away. Um, imagine having a cute Toy Minator character, either a Figma yeah. or, or a keychain, right? So I'm so excited for that too. But first things first, right? First things first. But those just uh, are some of the plans that we currently have. Um, and yeah, ongoing right now is the airdrop. So if if you haven't joined yet, do get some entries in there because weekly we draw eight to ten winners, and then uh, for the grand draw, top three uh, with the most number of entries will get the uh, prizes, the yeah. top prizes. Yon. So y- kung kung sa akin naman yung inaabangan ko if yung makita yung toy minator dun sa claw machine. <laughs> yung yung ah. game. <laughs> Is it possible ba? <laughs> Pero na kung may kilala kayo, makikipag partner for that. I mean, they're open. <laughs> yeah, nice. For real for real world utility, yeah. Yeah, yes. right. So, yes, actually there's uh, a lot of question coming in now. Parang hahabol. Hahabol. Si I will pick. As I've mentioned, baka gusto mo Miss M, yung ikaw yung mag-pick ng question. Okay, um, si John Adrian Calba na tawag na kanina, hindi pa. Ay, hindi pa. Okay, so I'll pick the question coming from John Adrian Cal. Will there be a beta testing or is it already happening? Anyway, we can participate. There is an upcoming beta testing uh, that we will be announcing within this week. Ayan ha! Yon! <laughs> Medyo na ad- and iba to sa mga may pre-alpha access because for beta testers, these are the ones who can... Uh, uh, who really want to test the game? You know, as QA, quality assurance, testing, you know, um, this could be, I believe, if you really want to become a game tester for several game development companies, this could be, this can be added to your portfolio. So anyway, um, yeah, we will be, within this week, we'll be announcing on how to participate in the testing of Toy Minator. And uh, the fun thing in here is that if, once you have submitted a bug, uh, in the game and it's approved as a bug then you can win back a Lacan token as a payment or as a as a like a reward because you submitted a le- legitimate bug that you found so yeah more announcements this week so make sure you um, make sure you follow and turn the notification bell on in all our social media Yon. So it's very important then kasi sa game because usually we as gamers those are the main thing that actually irritates us those bugs kasi di ba? Parang pangitingiti ka na tapos bigla kang naputol. Parang ganun. So thank oh, you for And they will be 
Uh, yeah, I mean, Excuse me. it's like para ka na rin game developers, di ba? So I used to I used to become that one too. Although originally programmer ako and then a project manager, but on the side you do some game testing then mga games na ginagawa niyo. So it's like you guys being a part of the team too. So and who knows, di ba? If we really like the way you report bugs, kuring ka namin, di ba? As in-house game tester. So lots of possibilities, guys. So yeah, I think just uh, just just watch out. Uh, the things that we've been doing here in the space. Ayun. Congrats, congrats, kay John Adrian Cal. Congratulations, kay, <clears throat> excuse me, kay John Adrian Cal. You are the fourth. <clears throat> excuse me, you are the fourth winner, ng whitelisting ng Lakan in- Interactive. So, um, I- I- your call, Miss M. Do we, are we uh, going to pick questions still? Uh, or do you have um, some... Um, ito, baka, so baka, mananalo pa ba to? <laughs> <laughs> si Ikaw, Ms. M. John or ba, ba, ba niya? But uh, let me just read this. Uh, digital space that as Lacan will also be in physical digital space. What aspect or paano siya ma-involve? If you look at, oh! Oh yeah, siguro al Lacan ba or yung Toyminator? Uh, say, if Toyminator, um, again, the first idea that we have is... Uh, Yun nga, um, toys that uh, let's say you own a specific toy uh, in as an NFT, right? So that thing you can get a physical copy from some toy stores as well. Uh, not no specific stores yet, but that's one idea that we have. So yeah, um, but for Lakan, you know, we are in a very early stage of our project, so uh, dropping in suggestions are pretty much open. Uh, we're, we listen to the community then. In fact, I, I'm gonna share to you guys. Uh, there's this one suggestion coming from one of our community members, Excelsior. It was like saying, um, can you guys uh, join the Axi Axi um, Builders program because we're game developers, right? So, yeah, so th- that uh, another aspect, although that's a different game, right? So it's not like we're looking every game like as a competition because we want to contribute, right, to the success of everything. So, yeah, we're considering. I'm going to I'm gonna tell that we are considering, but of course, nothing final yet because um, that way we'll be able to prove the things that we can do in the space as game developers. So, yeah. Okay, thank you for answering those questions, Miss M. And yes, actually, uh, you have answered uh, a while ago that um, it will be something like a digital in the future. And there are actually some questions. It was already answered by Miss M. Like, when is the token to be launched? And it's within this week, right, Miss M? Within the week. The token? No, yes. it's I, within I mean, this week. Is the is the pre? Oh, I mean, I'm the sorry. Beta, the testing. The, testing. the beta but testing. The token, sorry. Yeah, but the token is initially again nothing final. Okay, this could still change around March this year, but it could change. That's why we're not making any official announcements. So don't take my word on that one yet. But sometime this year as well. Of course, early this year. But we we're focusing on the delivery of our games first before we do that. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you. So I'll just actually there's no more questions now, and I'll just gonna. Um, read some questions here from Da Vinci game named The Maligno yung chanak manananggal tik tik etc Filipino game to the moon with Lady Moon yun pero very exciting yung yung game mo no since it is a Filipino theme talaga ng mga characters so it's something to look forward to and uh, let's support guys the Lacan Interactive for their uh, projects um, it is something to be proud of as a Filipino. And uh, I would like to thank uh, those um, participants. Actually, sino ba yun? yung last natin? Si John Adrian Cal, no? So, we have four. Kasama ba si John Urbaniel? <laughs> Gusto ba niya? Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sige, yeah, sige. go ahead, go ahead. So, Ito yeah, we have Jasper Nales, Montinola, Da Vinci, Rick Carlo O. Obsena, John Adrian Carl and yes, John Urbaniel. And oh, thank you for joining us. I think us. I just yes. want to answer one question in oh, here coming from um, Patrick Per. Um, yes, yes, so go ahead, Ms. M. How about in game burning mechanism like burning of in game NFTs when used? Yes, 
we do have that too. Let's say if we want to tear up the toys in Toy Minator, then we burn burning NFT because it will require to have one and uh, an NFT or some NFTs in order to level up uh, your toy. So yeah, we will have we will nice. be having that mechanism. So yes, we do have that. And I think just to clarify, yung um yung burning mechanism kani kanina right like sa token. So again, um we'll have a swapper in game. We have marketplace. And all of those will have percentage transaction fees, and yung percentage non will go to the buyback and burn uh, or liquidity of lakam. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. So I hope that clarifies things. And yeah, look forward to your support, guys. Thanks. And I hope we make this as Filipinos supporting uh, Filipino projects as well. Great. So we have another one on the list, Mr. Patrick Ferrer. Congratulations, Yan. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Patrick! Yan, malaki-laki na yung community natin dyan sa Lakan Interactive. So, guys, wag na kayo pahuli. Follow their website. They have also um, current uh, ongoing giveaways, right, Miss uh, Miss M? Yes, they are dropped. And yeah, I think one more question in here. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. El, El Mos yes. Lolan, oh, do you want to work with KOLs? Yan. Yes, but not as of the moment. Um, kasi, um, we believe that the product has to be there first before this KOLs. Uh, let's say, let's say gaming KOLs or game streamers. Anong e stream nila, right? Like, I, 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 I myself, ako, I've projected some projects before, uh, Web3 game projects to promote. Because if there's no game, like, um, or, or, there's no visible product, like, what do I show to my community? So right. it's just like, Parang making paasa, di ba? So yes. we don't we don't want that. So, but yes, in the future we we plan to work with streamers, especially those um, uh, who are very passionate about, you know, um, within their community as well. So the answer to that, the quick answer to that is is yes in the future. So congratulations to El Mouse. Parang lemao yung pangalan niya, like loving <laughs> my. Mouse. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Oh, okay. So yeah. we have as of the moment a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven winners um to be given the white listing from Lacan Interactive. So congratulations guys. And there, see Miss Isa Chua. She have dropped the uh, link for the airdrop giveaway. So just click the link guys to be able for you to join the airdrop giveaways. And yes, uh, I guess everything or everyone has has been answered already, Ms. M. Is there any one on your end? Baka meron ka dyan, uh... I, I think all good. I just want to give you a tip sa, yes. ano natin, sa airdrop na ongoing. So you, you get additional... Because we have the grand draw, right? The top three will receive most of those two thousand US dollar amount of Placan tokens that we're giving away. So mm -hmm. if, uh, of course, you want to get more entries, you have to use your referral link, and that's what Isa is doing. So very wise. <laughs> Ayun, very no? wise. Para para an lang yan eh. Para para an. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait. Um. The, uh. I think there is another. How can we receive the white list? So currently. We are putting a role on this board to make sure you are on this board. But if you actually like win it from the gleam, we take all the contact information that you have and put it in our record. So by the time na ready na yung contract address ng Lakan token, you know, we can just like deploy it uh, right. to your addresses. So hindi mo na namin kinukuha. We're not getting your wallet addresses as of the moment because again, we haven't finalized the chain that we're going to be putting Lakan token, right? So it could be. It could be uh, it could be a BNB uh, polygon. So we are not final yet. So the once we are close to that, we will we will be getting in touch with you. Oh yeah, see almost Lola and share na yeah. Right. So uh, guys, for those winner, yung mga nanalo ngayon sa from the, from the stream, we will gonna collect all of your names. Then we will just gonna forward it to um, Miss Kaysaya so that all of your names will be recorded. So I do believe Uy, Miss. Uh, um, pa. Yes. Go well, ahead. Ayaw ko palang pasin si Dan Dan. As no, no, an go, esports, go. as an esports, uh, what? As an esports athlete, how can esports be involved in Lacan games? Yeah. So yeah, again, as I mentioned a while ago, although these are casual games that we're having, they have a PVP aspect. Uh, kung saan we're we're gonna be working around with tournaments and events, and it's not just gonna be a one-time event. Uh, we will are 
us ourselves uh, from the marketing department of Makan Interactive, we will be holding several seasons, uh, like leagues. So we're really going to be treating it as a as a as an esports kind of yeah. thing for different games. So that's how. Great. And also, there's another one coming in. A question from Josue. San po ba Ay, mag-review yung... Ay, congrats na rin kay Dandan ah. Yun, kasama pa si Dandan. Oh yeah, Don't because it was an answer question. Don't forget his name in this story. Dandan. Saan po namin mag-review yung NFTs? You can view it from the website once it's up in there. So we will be having our own marketplace. You can view it from there. But of course, as usual, um, like anywhere, for as long as you have MetaMask, diba, you can also view there um, uh, your your NFTs. But we will do have in our website too. And kung gusto niyo makita sila sa game. So yeah, pretty much available like uh like how the usual NFTs are views are viewed rather. Right. Yon. Oy, so, mapinin yung comment. Ay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Discord, yeah. Yung Discord link ng Lakan Interactive, join niyo yung Discord nila guys because all of the information up uh, announcements and updates of their upcoming games or announcement na, na ng token release nanjan lahat yan. So follow niyo sila or join their Discord. And also, um, the link that we have posted on this live stream, so it's the Lacan Interactive website. You can get m- much more of the informations there. And uh, also, uh, yes, is there anything that you would like to add uh, as well, Miss M, before uh, no, we end? I'm good. I just want to thank everyone who's here supporting Lacan Interactive in our early stages. I am keeping um, your names in my mind. Um, I think for as long as you're active, you communicate from time to time with us on Discord or Telegram. Makikilala namin kayo, and I think yeah. it's more about from the like familiarity, right? So once we need more manpower or help, or maybe you can add up as a you know as something that can collaborate with, yeah. definitely we'll keep you in mind. So. Um, kumbaga, lumingon ka sa iyong pinanggalingan, like that. <laughs> so, I think basically yung mga support sa amin from the start, once we are up there, we're not gonna leave you alone. We're gonna help, you know, um, hold your hands and pull you up with us as well. So, I, right now, we just really need your support. Ayun. So, support natin, guys. Lakan Interactive is a Filipino-made project from the uh, Web3 space. So, it's a game GameFi. And again, as I have uh, mentioned, if you want to know more for those who have came late to our live stream, you could just uh, visit their website. Um, it is posted on our live stream and also their Discord. Uh, Discord, I'm sorry, being posted by Miss Aisa Chua. You can join their social so that you will be uh, updated for the most uh, recent or I mean the announcement that you will be having in the near future. So thank you, uh, Ms. M. Kaisaya uh, Dangla for joining us tonight. At maraming salamat at pinuunlakan mo yung invitation namin for this um, interview. Thank you very much. We've really learned thank a you. lot from thank you. Thank you for having me. Hi, guys. Yes, thank you. And uh, also, uh, thank you for all of the uh, uh, viewers that we had uh, tonight. I'm just going to mention everyone. See. Si um, da Vinci, Dandan, Lamaus, Lolan, Jasper, Nales, Jen, Adrian, Cal, Da Vinci, Michael, Josue, Diot, Jasper, Joner, Annaline, Miss uh, Isa Chua, Rick, Carlos. So, ever there's a lot actually. So, there's a lot to mention. So, thank you, thank you for those who have joined our live stream tonight. And yes, most of all, Miss M. Uh, Kaisaya Dangla, thank you and looking forward for your project. May you have a successful one. Thank you, Bob. Hey. All right, guys. So there we have it. This new project from Lacan Interactive. It is something that we were gonna look forward to. Please do support the Filipino-made project. And um, the most important thing here is review, learn the project, and do your own research. Everything is being posted here. Their link for their website, the Lacan Interactive, and also the Discord is dropped on our comment section. Please do follow their social so that you will be able to have the most precise information about the Lacan Interactive. So, yes, guys, again, thank you very much for joining our live tonight. And this is uh, Lady Moon um, giving you this uh 
interviews uh, about the Web3 podcast from Trendline, please do join us for another segment next week. So we will going to have the announcement on who will be our next guest. So it actually, it is a very special guest na abangan ng mga traders. Yun. So mga traders natin dyan, follow nyo yung Joban.com, follow our Discord channel, because ito na yung inaabangan nyo. We will be having a guest from the community, and I will not gonna uh, spoil it right now. Abang-abang na lang kayo sa page ng Joban.com. So again guys, thank you very much. May you have a wonderful evening. Once again, this is Lady Moon signing off. Bye-bye. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Fee. Uh, yeah, thank you, Fee. <laughs>